Hello, welcome to the final part of the UGX mod standalone installation for developers. In this segment, I will conclude the UGX mod installation by moving and renaming my compiled files. This can be done manually or automatically. I suggest the automatic method because this step will need to be completed each time you recompile. Uh, I will only show how to do the automatic process as the manual process can be assumed after watching this video. First, you must download the UGX project mover. The link is provided in the description of this video. Next, extract the UGX Project Mover to a memorable and easily accessible location on your computer. I like to place these types of programs at the root of my C drive. Go ahead and open the program now. Um, so when you open the program, you'll notice that there is a drop-down menu that has mod folder next to it. Go ahead and click the drop-down menu and select your map that you're installing UGX mod to. In my case, this is UGX mod install. Next, and this is important, pay attention to the order of this, click add files, navigate to your UGX mod install folder, select the mod.ff, click it in the list, and rename it to localized underscore map name, which is for me is UGX underscore mod install dot ff and hit enter. Next click add files again go back to the mods folder find your UGX mod directory and select mod dot ff. Now click move files and you should see in the top of the screen the last transfer at and then the time with no errors files moved to and you'll notice you saw in the background that localized UGX mod install was created and there's a mod.ff here now and notice that the file sizes are different they are different files and basically what's happened here is your maps mod.ff has been renamed to localized UGX mod install to, so that you can use the UGX mod.ff in your map without overriding a file if you do not do this then you will get um, missing script errors or um, missing material errors or uh, other weird errors when you boot your map. So now that you've done that, go ahead and click File, Save. And I usually save these in the mods directory. Go ahead and name it. Um, this, is a, this is a settings file, so name it the name of the map that it's the settings for. So I'm going to name it UGX mod underscore install dot CPM, which stands for COD Project Mover. Click Save. And now when you close the program and you want to open it again later, um, you can have multiple projects that you're working with. So I'll go ahead and open the save file right there and see it restored the mod folder and the name for mod.ff and the other file that I was moving. And if you do these in the wrong order, like if you did... Um, the mod.ff at the top and then the rename below it. You can use the move up or move down buttons to arrange it. You need to make sure that your renamed files are always at the top of the list before you do any other moving. So now that we've done that moving, um, the installation is complete. Let me go ahead and open my map um, to see if it worked. Can I go ahead and switch to the mod? There we go. As you can see, the the um, <coughs> the menu ma the menu background is the one we created in Photoshop, and all the buttons work. If you click cooperative, everything's here. If you click customize character, that will load. Uh, the challenges menu is on the pause menu, um, and then of course, if you boot your mod, it should work. Let's choose arcade mode. As you can see, I have the Beretta and the Bat Machine we placed is here, and the Random Box we placed is here, and the Rubble is here, not the box. Random Box is over here. Let's turn the power on. PP19 wall spawn is right here. So, yeah, everything works. You could play gun game. Um, it looks like it's changing the vision file, which it shouldn't be doing. I'll fix that before uh, before I release it. But other than that, it's all here. The HUD works. So yeah. Um, 
uh, <clears throat> if you receive a if you receive a script error or a 1600 sounds error or a 400 effects error or any other error when you boot your map, uh, it's most likely um, the either that your map isn't stock or that you haven't followed the directions properly for the um, mod installation. Um, most more than likely you have the wrong files in your maps directory in app data um, so if you need help first thing you should do is refer to the frequently asked questions page which I will link to in the video description and if you still can't find an answer after uh, looking at the fact then you can you're welcome to post a reply or a uh, thread about your problem and anyone either UGX staff or maybe another member uh, of the forum will be able to help you so um, remember to move your project after each compile because every time you compile your map uh, launcher will reset the files in your mods directory um, so you'll you'll end up with your old map.ff or maps mod.ff and UGX mods mod.ff won't be installed so the menu will be missing if you can even get the you know if you can even get your mod to boot the menu will be missing um, so remember to do that um, thanks for watching this tutorial. If you appreciate uh, this tutorial and the time that UGX has spent developing UGX mod, uh, please consider uh, donating via, via our site as a thank you. Um, we pay for the site, or actually I pay for the site's um, upkeep out of pocket, uh, as well as any other expenses that are incurred, um, and we could always use some extra cash to cover that. So thanks guys.